are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, guys, we're going to be talking about Brittany Griner here in this video. As you guys know, Brittany Griner is all for biological men going over into the WNBA. She was actually on record saying this, guys. She is all a part of the mission to destroy women's sports. Now, Riley Gaines and a few other women out there are actually fighting the good fight to actually save women's sports. But super woke athletes like a Megan Rapino or a um, Brittany Griner, they want men to actually come into women's sports. This is a major problem, folks, because if it doesn't stop, this is going to put little girls at a disadvantage as they get older. A little girl one day is going to actually want to play on her high school women's uh, basketball team, girls basketball team. And guess what? She may not be able to play because. There's a bunch of boys identifying as girls making a team and they are just bigger, stronger and faster. Biology is a real thing. Now, Brittany Griner may not know this. She may not know what the W actually stands for in the WNBA It's called the WNBA, the Women's National Basketball Association, which means it's for women. But Brittany Griner believes it is um, a crime. And she's the one to talk because she actually committed a crime in Russia. But I digress. Just in case you guys need a refresher here on what she said, listen to this clip here. Good morning, uh, Brittany. I'm uh, Bill Roden from ESPN and Scape. It's really great to see you. It's good to know the prayers have been answered. Uh, the question, um, you've always represented so much throughout your entire career about access and, you know, being able to do stuff. And, I hate to put one more thing on your plate, but there, there are a number of states who are aggressively moving to prevent transgender athletes playing. And I was wondering, again, I hate to put one more thing on your plate, but in terms of your on your radar, where is that? Um, you're going to have a tremendous platform, but where is that going to be on your radar in terms of advocating for um, you know athletes, all athletes, transgender athletes, to be able to play? Oh, I mean, that, that ranks high on the on the list of, of things that I'll be fighting for and speaking up against. You know, everyone has everyone deserves the right to play. Everyone deserves the right to to come here, sit in these seats and feel safe and not feel um, like there's a threat or they can't be who they are or um, like like it's just all eyes on them. Uh, so um, I think it's a crime honestly, to, to separate um, someone for any reason. Um, so I definitely will be speaking up against, against those, that legislation and those laws that are trying to be passed for sure. And by the way, that was actually a woke Bill Roden from ESPN actually asking that question. And he was framing it like uh, transgender people were being banned from sports. That is not the case. The laws that are actually being passed are actually trying to protect women's sports by keeping biological males out of women's sports because there is a huge difference. There's a reason, guys, why the WNBA has the W in it, which stands for women, by the way. But of course, these leftists don't even know what a woman is, but we know common sense thinking people know what a woman is. And that sets chromosome is a female. And that's why chromosome is a male. It's just that simple here. But um, we're living in crazy, crazy times, folks. And Brittany Griner is the one to actually talk about crimes when she actually committed a crime in Russia. Well, Riley Gaines has responded to this video of um, Brittany Griner out there saying that it is a crime to keep female sports for females. Riley Gaines actually tweets here. Which NBA team would have Brittany Griner since apparently the overwhelmingly obvious differences between men and women should simply be overlooked? Heartbreaking to see athletically successful women take this demeaning stance. And if we're going to talk about crimes, Brittany. And you guys know where she's actually going with this. Yeah. 
So she is actually challenging Brittany Griner to go over to the NBA since really there is no difference between men and women. Now, the women in WNBA is always talking about the pay gap. Now, if gender does not exist, why don't they actually go over into the NBA and play? Now, the average NBA player makes $10 million a year. That's a lot of money. Whereas the um, average WNBA player makes somewhere around 100000 a year. A major difference. But however, you don't see any women actually going over to the NBA and trying to play. They want to play in the WNBA for much less money. Whereas the average NBA player is making 10 times the amount that they're making. Actually, more than that. Way, way more than that. I mean, you're talking about $10 million a year on average versus 100000 Yeah. Way, way more than that. I know my math was off on that. Um, Brittany Griner, why don't you go ahead and make that jump over to the Martis NBA China? Because she's already said that she would not be going overseas to play again. And she was actually making, I believe, a million dollars over there in Russia before she actually um, decided, you know what, let me just go ahead and break the law over there. Yeah, a million dollars. She flushed that down the drain. Go to the NBA. The NBA, you guys have been uh, supporting the WNBA for a long, long time. The only reason why Brittany Griner is actually getting a check from the WNBA is because of the NBA. So just go ahead and make that jump over. I'm pretty sure, you know, it's pretty much the off season right now. Regular season's over with. Um, playoffs are actually going on right now. But Brittany Griner, go ahead and make that jump over to the NBA. But you know what? She's not going to do it. Why? Because biology is a real thing. Brittany Griner cannot make an NBA team at all. The worst player in the NBA could jump over to the WNBA and average like 80 points a game because men are just bigger, stronger, faster. That's not set to say that. That's just a biological fact. I mean, Brittany Griner would get destroyed if she came over to the NBA. Imagine LeBron James jumping over to the WNBA. Now, his career is probably going to be over with. But even let's say LeBron James is like 46 years old. He would demolish every single woman in the WNBA. It'll be a bloodbath. It would be a bloodbath, not even close. For Brittany Griner to actually deny biology, you know, not really much of much of a surprise because all these leftists, this is what they've been doing. This is what they've been doing, man. And women are actually destroying their own sports. More of these women actually need to be like on Riley Gaines and speak out against the madness that's actually going on. But no, they're not going to do it. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.